The Maoris, I really think one word to describe Maoris is love, or as they say in New Zealand, aroha. Um, I remember there was a member and we were really, really close with him. He was one of the nicest guys and I remember we were over there one day and you know, he was, he was wearing this shirt and I said, you know, I really, really like your shirt. And you know, two minutes later, he's like, I gotta go upstairs. So he ran away and then he came down and he gave me a shirt that he was wearing because he had so much respect and love for the missionaries that he'd give him the shirt off his back. And I really think that that exemplifies the Maori people. They love other people, they love everyone and especially the missionaries. And they know, even if they're not a member of the church, they know that the missionaries are called of God. And they're really, really amazing people. They're, they look very similar to the Native American people, as they both are descendants from the Book of Mormon. And they're very, very close to the Spirit. Oftentimes, they'll tell you dreams they had or visions that they saw. And their traditions are exactly, are very, very similar, not exactly. Uh, very similar to those that are in the Book of Mormon. They have a, a place, a meeting house that they call a marae. And in the middle of every marae, they have a post. And in their culture, this post is very, very sacred to them. And when, you know, there, there's people who aren't members of the church who know all these traditions. And on the walls, they have all of these drawings. But all of them are, they call whakapapa, or genealogy of all their family history. And they, they trace it all the way back to the book of war to the time before they left and they, they crossed the sea. And so oftentimes they, they tell stories, they sing songs about crossing the sea. When, when they meet other people and when they explain who they are, they, they have all their genealogy memorized. And they say it through memorization as they state in the Book of Mormon. They also, when, when people pass away, as you know in, in the Book of Alma, when one of the kings dies, they lay him on the, on the ground for three days. They don't bury him. They don't do that, or they, they still do that today in New Zealand. They, when individuals and their family pass away, they, they leave them out, and they let other people come and mourn over the body. And so all these traditions and cultures that the Maori people believe who aren't members of the church are drawn, you can draw specifically back to the Book of Mormon. And so when you show them the comparison of the two, and they show you show them where they came from and where those cultures came from, it's a really amazing experience.